today I'm going to be talking to you about my Rockwell brand safety razor and I am so excited about this thing. We should all be switching from plastic razors. I'm so excited to use this thing. Uh, I got one with several different sizes. Comes with your razors. And then these different attachments are depending on your experience with shaving with these safety razors or the size and thickness of your hair. It says to start with this R1 attachment. So it comes like this and you unscrew it, take this piece off, and then I'm going to put a razor in it. These are really bendy. Swedish steel. I've opened the blade now and I'm going to put that on like so. And put the R1 attachment back on and then screw it back on to my razor handle. Ready to go. I'm going to show you my very first experience using this thing. So far, I wish the handle was a little bit longer. It's not as comfortable as the longer razors, but we're still going to give this a chance because it's way cheaper than regular razors. I'm going to totally gross you out. Men hair! Yep, I left it nice and long just so we could get a great experience of what shaving with this razor is like. I started with this R1 attachment, but apparently I deleted the footage, but it wasn't working on my long hair that's been growing for two weeks. So I have switched it out to an R6. I'm extra nervous because it says to use R1 for beginners, but it was not shaving. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, R6 definitely works. It's still... It's different. I am shaving with soap too, so that's not what I would normally use, but I don't have any body wash that's plastic free. Oh yeah, this does a great job. It just feels a little different. It does a great job. I mean, pretty much the same as my other razor would do. It's just weighted a little differently. If you want a before shot, that's what it looked like a minute ago. And now, ta-da! It's heavier than a regular razor, and it's a little, it's not as flexible the way they designed it. Obviously, it's a lot straighter than the nice curved plastic ones, but I think it's just a learning curve, honestly. I'm excited. I'm going to show you guys a clip of it working on my legs as well and let you decide what you think and see if you should get one. I think, um, I think once I get used to this, I'm never going back. I hope you can see my hair enough in the video. I know it's hard. Here we go. It focuses so. Ooh, it's weird on my legs. I think it's because I'm shaving with soap. I'm gonna credit it to that. I want to try this with body wash so you guys can can have a more accurate idea. There 
it is right here. It's really smooth. Like, I'm not sure I get this smooth with my regular razor. But it does feel different. And I'm not used to that yet. But I'm also, again, I've said this a million times, I'm using soap because I don't have any body wash because I'm going plastic free. So that might be a difference as well. Body wash probably makes it a little smoother. Yeah. Super smooth. All in all, I am pretty satisfied with this. I definitely think there's a learning curve. Um, I finished shaving my legs and I nicked myself like 10 times. But again, I used the R6 setting on this and you're supposed to start on R1 when you're first starting out using a safety razor. But since it was giving me trouble shaving the hair on my armpits, I just left used the R6, which worked great on my armpits, but when I tried to use it on my legs, I ended up nicking myself a few times, but I think that's just because I'm not used to it yet. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I'm going to continue using it and see if I get accustomed to it, and I mean, the savings is alone is a big enough reason to switch. This was... I got the expensive one. It was $50. It had more attachments you could use, but... They had a $30 one and a $15 one, and this is just Rockwell brand. On Amazon, there's tons of different options, but I liked this brand because they give you a lifetime guarantee, meaning you drop it, anything happens to it, they'll replace it for free because they don't want you to use plastic. But it's pretty exciting because from now on, all I'm going to have to pay for is the razor blade refills, which are 12 cents a piece. So going to be a huge savings overall for the rest of my life long term and it does a really good job shaving my legs are smooth you probably can't tell on camera but they're at least as smooth if not smoother than my Venus razor which is what I usually use in conclusion the final pros and cons of having this razor pros you're gonna save so much money it's like 12 cents a blade instead of what, like $4 a cartridge. I'll talk more about this in my upcoming video on the plastic challenge budget. It really gives you a closer shave, I'm not going to lie. Um, it does a great job. Lifetime warranty and plastic free. Cons of it. There's a learning curve for sure. And with this particular razor, the handle's really short. I find it a little bit uncomfortable. However, I believe there are some other options that you can get with a longer handle. I just have not tested them and I might actually do that if I can find another company that has a lifetime guarantee. That's pretty much it. There's not a lot of reasons why you should not have this razor. So guys, switch now and stop throwing your freaking plastic in the oceans. You're going to have a great time with this thing and it's going to last you forever. I'm just going to throw in a few more reviews because they're just going to take a second. Because I didn't like them. <laughs> so I got this little... Fat in the Moon, a little sensitive pit cream. This is deodorant and it's in this tiny little metal jar, which is pretty cool. But it was like, I feel like it was really expensive for the amount that I got in comparison to what I would normally buy in deodorant, which of course um, comes in plastic. This does not, but uh, I'm just not a fan. It smells bad. It's got coconut oil arrowroot starch, magnesium hydroxide, beeswax, essential oils of basil and vetiver, which I've never heard of. But you get it with your fingers and you have to put it on like this and I don't like that. I don't want to put the deodorant on my fingers. I like it in a stick. So that's not an option. Again, there's more options out there so I can keep trying eventually. 
when this runs out, but I will never buy this again. It smells funny. Nobody's complained about me smelling, so I think it does a good job deodorant wise, but it's just, I feel like a lot of money for how long it's gonna last me. Next review, I got some lotion bars that I forgot that I even got because I was just gonna use coconut oil all month. But I found an Etsy store that sold plastic free lotion bars and I just like, maybe in the summer, but I could not for the life of me get this to melt enough in my hands in order to smooth it onto my, my legs and body and stuff. So don't go with a lotion bar. At least, I mean, you can try it. I didn't like it. Um, I ended up just using coconut oil all month, which I love coconut oil, but it really, like, it takes a minute to absorb, so I end up getting oil on my bed and things I touch, and I don't really like to use coconut oil for my face. I used to use argan oil before the plastic challenge, so I'll probably be going back to that, but it does have a little plastic lid, so maybe I'll see if there's another source I can get once my old products are run dry. But I would definitely not get a lotion bar again, at least from this company. I didn't like it. it is what it is. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later!